Okay, guys, so this is the photoelectric effect lab, photoelectric effect lab. So what we have here is a setup, which I have here, I also have the diagram on the board to show you more detail uh, how this is gonna work for us. So we have a, a light source that's gonna be shining on this metal plate here. Now by the photoelectric effect, we know that with the one photon, we interact with this one electron. That electron will gain energy provided by the one photon and it will go off it's called a photoelectron. And if uh, enough of those are going off and they, they go off in the same direction, you have current flow. You have current flow. So again, as a light source hit the metal plate, you have current flowing. These are the photoelectrons give us current flow. And then we're going to stop the current from flowing by putting this back voltage uh, shown here. Now, we're going to measure the current flow with the nano amp. Uh, uh, this ammeters right, right here is it, measuring nano amperes, and this one measures the, the, the back voltage here. So this guy we measure the voltage, the stopping voltage we're going to call it, which shown here as a V, and the current we will be uh, measuring from this part right here. That's going to measure our current flow. So again, the idea is that once we sh uh, shine the light source on the plate, current start to flow. And then we're going to put this back voltage to stop the current from flowing. Stop the current from flowing. Okay? Now, if we look at the equation that we, we will use it here, this is Einstein equation, it tells us that what we have is one photon with a frequency F, and this is H is Planck constant, will give all the energy to one electron. Now, that energy will be divided into two parts. Part of the energy will go into broken that electron away from the bond holding it to the surface as a whole. The rest of the energy would go into is kinetic energy of motion. This part here, KU max. All right. Now, now once we, we start the current flowing then, the idea is this, the idea is this. This equation here involves the, the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron, and this is called again the work function, which is the energy it needs to overcome first before it can break away from the surface. We're going to put a back voltage onto the system to stop the current from flowing. In other words, go back to our plate here. If these electrons are going to right here, you make that plate negative, they'll feel force that's going to slow them down and stop them eventually. And the idea is this. The work that will be done by the electric field to stop the current from flowing is given by this expression right here. E, V, stop. This is our stopping voltage. So this term here can be replaced with this E, V, stop term there. In other words, we're going to stop the, those electrons that are going away with the maximum Ke value. And once we stop them, then all the current's flowing. All this, the current will stop flowing. And now the equation from here becomes equation number two. Same equation, but now we replace Ke max with E V stop. So now this says then that the, this is the frequency of the photon, and this is our stopping voltage. And that says that the higher the frequency, higher the stopping voltage. And that's what this lab is going to demonstrate. We're going to use three filters, red, green, and blue. And the idea is that as we go to a higher frequency filters that only allow those photons to go through and interact with the metal plate, it should, say it, it should take a higher stopping voltage to stop the current from flowing. Okay, so that's the idea here.